Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you three individual training drills that are going to work on your speed reaction to make you a faster player. So when it comes to speed, there are a couple of components that you need to bear in mind. The first one being is your physical attributes. You need to be explosive to be able to change direction and get up to top speed quickly. So that's what speed and agility drills are going to work on. But there's also another side of speed and agility, which is your cognitive ability. So the ability to recognize situations and react to them. So in the game of football, it's not predictable. You're not just running like a speed course where you know if you've got to run forward, then you've got to run right, and then back to the finish. It's not like that at all. You might be running in one direction, and then the ball's intercepted, and you need to change direction and go the other way. So there's a cognitive aspect, and the quicker your reactions are, the better you're going to be. You can have two players that have the exact same speed, but if one player has quicker speed reactions than the other, they're going to get to the ball first. So you want that player to be you. So I'm going to get into the first drill here. I've just got four small agility cones in a square, and I'm going to be standing in the middle. The cones are about two steps apart, all the way around, so it's a perfect square. And I'm going to be working in the middle here. And what I like to do if I'm training by myself is, I use my phone and get the voice memo recording app out and I record into it different numbers. So I'm giving each cone a number and I need to remember where they are. So it, what helps me remember is if I label this cone number one because it's my dominant side and it's the first cone. So one, two, three, four. So I just go around anti-clockwise and then I put my headphones in and I stand in the middle here, play back what I've just recorded and react as quickly as possible. So let's go. One, two, four, three, two, two, one, four, two, three, three. One, and rest. Okay, so for this next drill, it's gonna be a little bit more movement in here now, and we're gonna involve the ball just slightly at first. So all we're gonna be doing is doing some ball mastery work in the middle, so you can do some toe taps, you can do some side to side, inside, outside, whatever it may be, doing a ball mastery exercise in the middle, and then what I'm gonna be doing is shouting out different directions into my voice memo once again. I'm gonna say either front, and if I say front, I've got a gate here. If I say back, I'm going to be turning and going backwards. If I say right, I'm going to go to the right. And if I say left, I'm going to the left. Because you always want to be agile in all different directions because that's what it's like in the game of football. At any moment, you might be going forwards, you might be going backwards, right, left, whatever it may be. So we're just involving the ball just a little bit, just so we can distract ourselves. So we're not planning for any of the movements. We're really focusing on something else to clear our mind. And then when those instructions are called out, we really have to react quickly. We're gonna leave the ball in the middle, get out, touch the line, get back to the middle as quickly as possible. Again, 30 to 40 seconds. So let's go. Front. Back. Right. Right. Left. Front. Back. And rest. So moving into the third and final drill, we're gonna be adding some dribbling into the drill now. So it's important even when you're on the ball to have that reaction speed as well. This is what the top dribblers have. They can recognize the space that they need to dribble into. So when you're coming 1v1 with an opponent, you don't wanna be predicting what side you want to go. You're reacting off of their movement. So this is gonna really help you with those reaction speeds. So we're gonna be dribbling around the square here. It's the same square that we used before, but this time I've added some colored cones in the corner. So if you don't have colored cones, you can use the same cones that you were using before, and you can number them just like we did. But I'm using colors because I'm gonna be dribbling, turning around 360s. It's gonna be a lot more difficult to remember where those cones are. But if you've got a good memory, you can still use the same colored cones. So I'm gonna be dribbling around, and again, recording into my voice memo, the different colors. So if I say green, 
I'm going to quickly react, go towards that green cone, turning into the middle, dribbling around again. Then if I say blue, I've got to react to go to the blue cone and get back to the middle. So it's just having that visual awareness, keeping your head up while you're dribbling around so that when those commands are shouted out, you can react and go towards that color in a split second. So again, 30 to 40 seconds, let's go. Blue. Orange. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Blue. Orange. Green. And rest. All right guys, so those are the three individual training drills that you can use to work on your speed reactions. Very important if you wanna play football at a high level. And if you don't have all these cones and things like that, you can just use water bottles or any other objects you have lying around the house. Although if you do wanna use the exact cones that I was using in these drills, these mini agility cones, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. These were sent out to me by NSPA and they're doing an offer right now where you buy any cones and you'll get some free ones on top of them. Really nice convenient size that you can put in your bag and you can have them on the go wherever you are so you're always ready to train. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training